In a moment, as MSF, we only have a capacity to work in the case management centers and we don't have a capacity to go outside. The situation is quite difficult. I would say we are on the top of the iceberg in a moment because the contact tracing is not really functioning and this is one of the major issues what we have because to find the, the patient as soon as possible and to refer them to the case management center it's the basic for an Ebola outbreak. MSF is not able longer to cope with everything here. But normally in Ebola we try to be a step before the Ebola is coming to the villages, but we are completely too late. Last week we came to a village where we had around 40 patients from one village. It's unbelievable, I never have seen it before. But we need more experts to come, we need epidemiologists, we need medical staff. The time is, is, is going and uh, every time you have more people contaminated uh, and then one people can contaminate many. Then you could have a really, really uh, increase in the numbers. Uh, if you take too long, you'll be more spread and more difficult to, uh, to control. To deal with this every day, to look people in the eye, you can see they are scared. To look over this fence right behind you now and see, uh, look at the patients, and you know that their chances are very small. It's, uh, it's horrible. <laughs>